Can a high protein diet hurt nitric oxide and raise blood pressure? Hi, I'm Chris Masterjohn and I have a PhD in nutritional sciences. I am not a medical doctor and nothing contained in this episode may be construed as medical or nutritional advice of any kind or a substitute therefore. This episode is meant purely as scientific education. If you wish to act on any ideas presented in this episode, please consult your physician first and never take anything herein as a reason to contradict medical advice. With that said, enjoy the episode. Gary Krieger says, follow-up question. Could a high-protein diet rob the nitric oxide pathway of arginine citrulline due to an increase in the urea cycle leading to increased BP? Blood pressure. Um, It shouldn't. Um... Because the urea cycle is essentially what produces arginine. So I'm trying to think if there's any exception to that. Um, you know, if you eat more protein and you increase the activity of the urea cycle, you are you are generally increasing the rate at which ornithine that has come from the breakdown of arginine is converted to citrulline, goes through the cycle, and is converted back to arginine. Um, trying to think of... Uh, I think eating too much protein conceivably... So, like, the problem with eating too much protein isn't that you run the urea cycle. It's that you uh, exceed the capacity of the urea cycle to generate ammonia, which is almost impossible to do if you have uh, natural foods unless you have a urea cycle defect. And there is a common polymorphism. I don't remember the percentage of the population, but it's significant significant enough to call it a common polymorphism in the OTC gene. And I have done a a podcast about this. So if you search my website for OTC, you should find this or Google Master John OTC protein or something like that. Um, And people with the OTC gene do have higher blood pressure because of lower nitric oxide. And they do have a problem eating too much protein but the protein is a problem because they can exceed the capacity of the urea cycle and generate more ammonia. Whereas the OTC gene being low is what's driving the low nitric oxide through low arginine production. So you are seeing the combination of this person should not eat too much protein. This person person has low nitric oxide, high blood pressure, but I don't. I don't think it's the protein that's causing that. I think it's just low arginine synthesis due to low uh, citrulline synthesis, and so they should supplement citrulline to to improve their blood pressure. And they probably shouldn't eat too much protein. But I don't think that too much protein is going to be the thing that drives the high blood pressure. All right. Hope that helped, Gary. Thank you for your question. This episode was part of a Q&A for members of the CMJ Masterpass, where I hold monthly private Zoom Q&As for my members. The Masterpass also serves as a buyer's club with exclusive and massive discounts on your favorite premium foods and health products, including pasture-raised and wild meat and seafood, supplements, sleep accessories, water filters, phototherapy devices, and much more. If you'd like to participate in these Q&As, you can join the Masterpass at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash masterpass and use the code Q&A, spelled Q-A-N-D-A, Q&A, for 10% lifetime discount. I am currently working full-time on finishing my first book, Vitamins and Minerals 101, How to Get the Nutrients You Need on Any Diet. I will let you know when I have a release date. In the meantime, you can pre-order the book at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash book. Testing Nutritional Status, The Ultimate Cheat Sheet, has been newly released as version 1.3. This is my comprehensive system for managing nutritional status with lab tests, dietary analysis, and comprehensive intake of your signs and symptoms. The new version has a comprehensive guide to interpreting the Genova methylation panel. You can pick up your copy at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash cheat sheet. 
In my consulting, I am neither a medical practitioner nor a coach. I serve as your data analyst and your strategist. I teach you scientific principles of health and wellness, help you analyze your data, and help brainstorm actionable strategies. You can sign up for a consultation at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash consultations. Please consider supporting my work at no extra cost to you by visiting my support page and making a purchase with one of my affiliate links. Some of my most popular affiliates are also listed in the description of this video with links that will give me credit for your purchase. I will try to respond to comments when I can, but my presence will be intermittent while I'm finishing my book. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next episode.